Even though you've had your fun, I 
Queen, please. 
<laughs> I was really lucky. I mean, I was in love. I just had a beautiful baby. Henry was happy because thank God it was an Edward, not an Edwina. <laughs> I was so excited for his first steps, his first words, for not getting a good night's sleep for three years. Yeah. But I never got to see any of them. You know, people say Henry was stone-hearted, uncaring, and I'm not sure he was. Yeah. Actually, come to think of it, there was this one really cute time where I had a daughter and he chopped my head off. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, look. Look, I know his times with the queens before me were hard, but they were also full of fire. He raged and stormed at them, and because they were both absolute badass monarchs, he raged and stormed right back. But I didn't do that. Instead, I stood by him like I was made of stone. I stood firm. No matter his flaws, his tempers, no matter my doubts or fears, I stayed there by his side. And it's not because I was scared or naive or weak. It's because I loved him.
to look a little further afield. Had to adjust his location that an itty be <laughs> To find his next queen, we're heading to Germany. Where he enlisted the help of the legendary Panther.
didn't live up to his expectations. I mean, it's the usual story, isn't it? The savvy, educated young princess escaped from Paulson by a wheezing, wrinkled, ulcer in a man 24 years in a scene. <laughs> Rejection. Rejection from a king. How could anyone overcome a fate as devastating as being forced to move into a more splendid palace in Richmond?
Bill back to the palace. <laughs> <laughs>
So then there was another guy, Francis. And at the time I was living at my stepgrand's house, he was working for her, working so, so hard. So he asked me to be his little piece of assistant. <laughs>
<laughs> so just seeing as I've not won the competition, all I want to do is take this opportunity to thank all the powerful men that have got me to where I am today. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for coming to the New York City. I'm going to bring that to you now. Yes, I'm going to go. It's all hard. Are you having a bad But that was not the most heart-wrenching song we've heard today. <laughs>
I meet this guy, Thomas. Now he seems like he might stick around for a while. And, um, okay, look, you guessed it. He turned out to be the love of my life. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I just, we have plans to get married, actually. But that is when Henry turned up. Single and ready to make an unsuspecting woman is the wife. Just my luck. So that was that. I had to write the letter to Thomas. Ending things. Dear Tom.
We don't get it. Okay, look, why does anyone know who we are? My six finger. Put it away, babes. Let me try to put it a different way. Um, oh, okay. Who was Henry the Seventh's boy?
want you to be remembered for being married to the same man. Oh, why does that even want to give up? <laughs> or do you think it might be because of his Oh, Jesus. Because after all, we're all...